okay, hello, uh, good morning from my college. Uh, uh, this is supposed to be a tutorial about something really simple. So what can you do with play? Yes, my hobby. So this is for a friend I'm trying to teach her. Uh, so okay, I'm, I'm about to start this. First, you gotta get this shape, whatever, what you feel the comfortable the most, and then this, which will be used for whatever details you want to give it. So okay, I'm about to start this, and I'm to lower the screen so I can focus better on what I do with the clay. So okay, first you got to do a base about this, like a stick. So you do the stick, and then you shape the base. You give it more shape to the borders of the lower size side. Sorry. Of it. Once done, you just polish around it. Then you make it uh, longer, taking a little bit more of it for the head. So you bend it. If you feel the need, you just take more from the base and just make it a symmetric shape, or that's what it's supposed to be. Then you start doing the jaws here. Depends on the animal, of course, depends on what are you planning to do with it. But normally that's the way it is. Alright. So now you start shaping the muzzle. Muzzle, the upper side of the head, the forehead, and the back side of it itself. Now you have like a horse shaped thing. So that's the point. Let's skip up. You give it the underside of the head, uh, the, the throat, back the, the throat down here. Then, if you want to make any more details about it, grab another piece of clay, cut it, and you put it here to make it steadier, so, so it does not move when you work with it. You shape the throat better. But First, let's start working on the mouth. You put a finger in here, push, push, and make a big hole so you have two parts to work with the jaws and the upper side of the muzzle. If you ask what I'm doing, you'll see it in no time. <laughs> So we got the jaws made on the upper side of the muzzle. You put it down and you got this. You see? Quite simple, isn't it? So then you keep shaping it. So you get a good level on detail. If you want to you can reinforce it reinforce it with uh, some parts of the throat. But don't forget to always be checking on the back side of the jaws. So you got this. <sighs> Alright. Now we're about to make the horns. The horns are on this part of the head. So you grab another piece of this and you add it to the upper side of the head, the back side. You remember to distribute the clay well so it's symmetric in shape. Symmetric in shape, alright. Uh, well, kind of. Make the horns, you make them larger just as I did. 
and then you start molding it. The skull, the back side of the skull. Skull, skull, uh, skull, yeah, skull. That's <laughs> cool. Alright, so you got the horns. Just two of many. Got the horns right here. So then, we are going to make them to mold them even better to add a better level of detail to it. So you mold it here on its skull, on the upper side and the back side of it. And you mold here as a. don't know how to say it, I, I can't remember right now, but well. The idea is there, see, it's pretty simple. Then you do the same here. So, got the horns and the skull. Now what we are about to do is to open the mouth even more to get some teeth and uh, its tongue. If you are not comfortable with uh, how the horns look like, you can just cut out a little piece, a little piece of clay, and then just keep molding it. It's quite simple. Get it. Good. Just uh, adding some better shapes to this. Alright, uh, wait a fuck second.